Hey guys, so we are just gonna be chilling on my couch today. You can already tell by the title, but I'm just gonna be talking about my, I guess kind of like my testimony, but like very, very shortened, and then basically just like tips and stuff to help anyone else out there get started on their journey to be a Christian, and I guess kind of like what I suggest doing, not saying my, what I am about to suggest and what I'm about to say is right, or wrong it's kind of like what I did yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get started and and if you guys want to hear like my full testimony I can make a video about that yeah let's just get started some background on like my family my parents they both grew up Catholic but we never like me and my siblings never went to church not that like it was it's a bad thing that like we didn't go to church like it's totally okay but I like didn't know anything really about God I'd been to I think like one vacation Bible school and it was like at a church down the street from me and I would go here and there with some friends at like a really I guess like big church for this town that like all my friends lived in but I was never like actually a Christian but I was also never really a Catholic like we never practiced like we never did Lent we never did any of that we kind of just did whatever but then i started going a little bit more in high school with my friends brian and reagan they've been on my channel before so what's up brian and reagan so they kind of introduced me to like my first church i ever really went to like consistently but it still didn't like feel right to like call myself a christian because i wasn't i guess i like wasn't there yet if you know what i'm talking about but i would i was still going to church i would go on sundays but i was still kind of just like living my life the way that i wanted to and then in the fall of 2018, I got introduced to Seven Hills by Brienne and then our friend Maddie, who Brienne met through one of their classes. They introduced me to college night and they said that it was just like a really fun church and I was like, okay, like I'll give it a shot. And college night is every single Wednesday night and I would go every single Wednesday for a pretty, like probably like a few months or I would try to go every Wednesday. And then they were in a small group and I, I think I would go with them like here and there. I wasn't like very consistent then I stopped going for a little bit just because of school and also just I wanted to live my life again the way that I wanted to I didn't like, I didn't want to be a Christian basically and then I started going again and I would go to small group so this is last spring semester so spring of 2019 and then I stopped going for a little bit again because of school and it was it was actually school like I didn't really do anything all I did was schoolwork and then I started going again I don't know if it was in the summer but then I started always going like every single Wednesday last semester so fall of 2019 and I like started to get more involved and I just started getting really like I started getting a lot closer with the people in church and more specifically like college night but then I really I just didn't feel like very connected with God and I also like I had never really read anything in the Bible before but Delta Gamma like NKU we have like our own little Bible study and like I would go to that every week and I would try to pray I would pray like every now and then but I didn't like do it consistently but then I went to New Year's conference with this college ministry called Campus Outreach and I went to that and a lot of things happened there but on the car ride home I like mentally told myself I was like I'm getting baptized as soon as I can like my my life was changed basically so then I got baptized at Seven Hills literally I don't even know when it was like the very beginning of January like like I literally rang in the new year as like a new person and then I went through summit at Seven Hills which is basically just like a way to get more involved into the church and you become more of like a member I guess and you kind of like find your spot just kind of see how you can get involved and serve at the church and now I'm on the signs team with my lovely signs ladies shout out seven hills signs crew you guys are awesome and the parking team is kind of cool I guess you know and now I have been like trying to read some of my Bible every single day and I've been pretty successful at it and just like trying to talk to God and now we're here. Like I said, if you guys want a fuller, more detailed version and like more about New Year's conference, just let me know. Now I'm just gonna be telling you guys like how you can get started in your journey and I guess a little, like it kind of includes like how I got started. 
So if you don't know like any Christians or anybody that like knows God and you're nervous at first, a perfect way to kind of start, I feel like, and if you like really don't feel like talking to people at first, which is totally understandable, you can go to um, any church services online. I know a lot of churches right now, especially are doing online services, but I know there's a lot of churches like Seven Hills and I think there's more around like where I live in Northern Kentucky. They normally would do online services anyways so that is a great way to start going to a church and if you're watching this you now know at least one Christian and you can't say you don't know one because you got me now and I would love to talk to you guys in the comments and just like help you start an amazing journey and just kind of like be there with you and for you um, and then when school start back up I know I'm sure majority of colleges and universities and high schools and all types of schools they have some type of like youth ministry or, or like organization that you can join and I know it sounds really scary at first but you'll most likely not be the only like new person there I don't really I don't know how to explain it other than new person but just hear me out everybody is always so welcoming and they will comfort you and just make you feel so included with everything and they want to get to know you and talk to you and just like learn more about who you are and they want to help help you learn who God is. I'm not very good with words, but all Christians want to help others know who God is, so they're gonna be so welcoming. And this one's gonna sound really silly, this next one, but there's like Christian TikTok groups. I follow a bunch of them on TikTok, and they will do like quick little prayers, or they'll talk about like Bible verses, or they'll do like a mini like 60 second like Bible study, or I know there's some Christian TikTokers, they'll do like a live worship on like Friday nights or they'll do their own mini service or like a little worship service on like Sundays and it's just really cool to kind of experience it that way with kids your age. Being able to like realize that there's other Christians your age, for me it's made me feel a lot more comfortable um, like talking about my faith and talking about God and just like who he is with other people. It's just really helpful when you have those kind of people, even if it's virtual, like on TikTok, but you still find those people. The next one is to pray. And I know this can sound really scary, but it's seriously just like having a conversation with your friend or somebody you're really close with. And if you don't really know how to pray, there's no really like right or wrong way of like praying. Like a little mini prayer you could say is, God, I don't really know how or where to start. So I'm just asking you to guide me and show me the way. And that's literally it and he will listen to you and he will and he will do exactly what that prayer says he will guide you um, to find those Christian friends or if you're in a group of non-christian friends maybe that prayer can help your other non-christian friends become Christians with you and you guys can have like your own little journey together and I think that'd be really cute. I know it can be really tough to figure out where you should start in the Bible or even what kind of Bible to get. So my Bible I have is the Wayfinding Bible and it's the New Living Translation version. There's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of different versions of the Bible out there. The only reason I like this one, the way that it's translated is for me it's very easy to understand. They don't use like a bunch of like super hard to understand words or very fancy words. In my opinion, like I'm saying, I'm not saying this is the right Bible or the wrong Bible, but I really like the New Living Translation version, but it's all up to you. It's all what you feel like you should get. And then to know like where you could read in the Bible, there's a bunch of like Bible study plans on Pinterest and you can literally type in Bible study plan for beginners or new Christians and stuff like that. Or you can just search on Google and they'll have like a 30 day plan or something like that and it's free, like you don't have to pay for it. There's also this book, it's called The Seven Basics. I've showed this on here before, but I got this from Seven Hills when I got baptized and it's really, I learned so much from it. I'm already done with it, but I absolutely love this. I'm never gonna throw this away because it's got so many good 
points in here that I feel like I want to keep by me for the rest of my life. Yeah, this is just a good way to kind of get started. It's just all around a very good small book. It's not very big as you can tell. It's literally, it's not even 100 pages. So I really suggest this book and I, I'm sure it's on Amazon or something. I don't really know how expensive it is. I don't think it's that expensive. Oh, it's $5. It says right here, it's $5. So if you got $5 to spare, I suggest this book. And then lastly, listen to worship music. Basically with worship music, it's, I feel like it's really important to really listen to the lyrics because I feel like that's actually like a really good way to learn about God and who he is and his love. And we all love music, come on. Like who doesn't like music? There's a lot of amazing artists out there. I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff I suggest um, down below in the description box so you guys like aren't completely lost if you don't really know like what to search so i'll put some stuff down below but this this is all my experience and my suggestions and everybody has a different story and a different journey and different suggestions so if you have any other suggestions um leave them down in the comments below i would love to hear some other suggestions to even help me but if you want someone to talk to about becoming a christian but like you don't really know how to you can comment down below and we can have a conversation or you can comment your Instagram or your Twitter and I'll follow you and we'll have a little conversation and then we can become friends and it's it would be great. And then I'm also going to try to figure out some kind of like Google form type thing to link in the description of my videos that's for like prayer requests and anything you guys need help with because I would love to help everybody as much as I can and in any way that I can. And just some reminders, I know some people out there that will give like a negative rep on just Christianity in general, but don't ever think that you're too broken to become a Christian and you're not perfect enough to become a Christian because trust me, I don't know a single perfect Christian. Literally nobody's perfect. Hannah Montana said it best. Just because I'm a Christian doesn't make me perfect and just because I have Christian friends doesn't mean they're perfect. Don't ever think those things and just remember that you can come to God at any point in your life. He's just waiting for you to come to him and talk to him and realize that he is as amazing as everybody else says he is but that is it for my video like comment subscribe turn on that bell so you know when i upload videos i'll see you guys in my next video peace goodbye <laughs>